Teething! Yay! So Rhett has been um, experiencing all the signs of teething for a few months now. I can almost see them. It starts, there's a ridge that comes up on their gum and you can, you think those teeth are coming through any minute. In fact, at his four month checkup, my doctor said, whoa, we're gonna get some teeth soon. And then yesterday at his six month checkup, he's like, really, still no teeth? <laughs> so Rhett is taking his sweet time, but he will gnaw on anything. Uh, my finger, his toes, you name it, he wants to chew on it. Besides, you know, your human appendages, there are products to help in this in this situation. The most popular is Sophie the Giraffe, and I do love her. It's um, all natural, this rubber, and so you don't have to worry about like any weird dyes or weird chemicals. And she squeaks, which <laughs> <laughs> Rhett usually hates, but now he's like, hey, who said that? And she's just a really great little giraffe. Lots of places for them to latch on to. I will say that if if you like a little teething blanket, this one, this um, Bright Stars one has been awesome because it has a, a, a really fun crinkling sound, which he really likes. <laughs> it's the simple things. He loves the bright colors. He loves the sound. There's a little rubber feet. They also make awesome little teethers that have um, like a liquid in them. And when we were growing up, our parents put these in the freezer so that when they took them out of the freezer, it wouldn't you know, numb our gums. But now the AP has said that freezing them isn't really so good, and so what we should do is just refrigerate them. You know, the times they are changing. So you can put this in the fridge and take it out, and it gives them a little bit of instant, instant relief. But speaking of instant relief, a lot of people use Oragel, and it didn't work for either of my babies. In fact, it just served to make them angry. It's kind of a gross taste that you put on their gums. They immediately lick it off. And so if anything, it numbs their tongue as much as their gums. And you know, my mom really said it worked for us when we were growing up. So as always, every baby is different. So you just do what works for you. I will say the one thing they love to chew on about this time is the good old Passy. But every time I see him start to chew his Passy, I take that sucker out and sub in one of these other toys because this looks an awful lot like something else he sucks on that's attached to me. And I don't want him biting that. <laughs> With teething comes drooling, and that's what these great short bibs are good for. Maybe get something that's like a terry cloth, kind of like a towel feeling, and uh, you can see, I mean, he drools nonstop. This is soaking wet. So in order to save yourself from changing their onesies all day long, I would have to go through 20 onesies a day if it, if it weren't for these little bibs. Instead, it's much easier just to change out the bibs and save the outfit. That's all the tips I have about teething. Tell me if you have any. This is the time I need them because this kid is really going for it. So you can leave me some comments in the section below and you can check out all my other videos and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any. But yes, teething tips, teething moms unite. <laughs> Fit. Hey. <laughs>